This you can't make this shit up, people. You cannot make this shit up. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? The Undisputed Man here back with a new video. Right before I get this video started, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, and also subscribe to my vlogging channel, Undisputed Vlogs. So in today's video, I'm going to do a part two to the, to the uh, situation with the woman who got hit with a brick. Now, apparently, news has come out a few days ago that the story with her getting hit with the brick was actually a lie. And um, I got a screenshot of it. I'm going to put it up again, and I'm going to, um, because it was part of the intro, but I'm going to put the picture up again for y'all to see. If y'all can't see it, uh, it's cropped a certain way, so I can't get the full picture in the intro, but um, I'm going to show you the full picture right now. So apparently, uh, the establishment of where the, where the situation the situation happened at, uh, apparently there was proof that she never got hit with a brick to begin with. Apparently, the knot that she had on the side of her head was uh, apparent to be, apparently to be a um, uh, allergic reaction type thing. It was something she probably ate or drunk or something like that. So this woman lied. This woman lied, started a bunch of GoFundMe's over the years because this wasn't the only situation that she was a part of. She'd been doing this since 2020 where she would lie and say that she got hit with an object or, or she was assaulted by a man, a black man. And... And you know what's crazy about this situation? I laugh every time people say believe all women. Shut your bitch ass up! <laughs> I don't believe anything women say. I'm going to explain to you why I don't believe it. The term believe all women has to be one of the most dumbest shit in the world because women are known to lie. Women are known to sit there and lie on, about a situation or about a person to get what they want. This Me Too movement has been nothing but a shit show. Did we not learn anything from the Amber Heard and J Johnny Depp situation? Did we not learn um, anything about uh, the Andrew Tate situation with the two girls who lied on him and Tristan only to find out that they was conspiring through WhatsApp messages to lie on these men? And they threw the rape case out. So the, so, so these when these overweight black women, uh, these overweight women in general, that's sitting there saying that Andrew Tate's a rapist, he's this or that. The case was already thrown out a few months after he got locked up. And up until he got out in April, the story was a the story with that um, with Andrew Tate was bullshit. Those girls lied, and even with Amber Heard or Amber Turd, she lied, making herself seem like she was a victim when she really wasn't. Come to find out, she was a she had something to do with Johnny Depp's finger getting cut off and shit like that. So Johnny Depp won the whole trial, which is rare because when when women lie, they always get what they want most of the time. So it was rare for Johnny Depp to win that case, and I'm glad he did because this that trial and Andrew Tate situation showed that you should not believe everything women tell you because women lie all the time. These are the same black women with the, the situation with the girl with the brick. These th that woman also did a video saying how black men are worthless, they can't provide, and shit like that. But yet, people was getting mad because black men didn't protect her from getting hit with the brick, only to find out that the story was actually a lie. So she fund, she had a GoFundMe. She got like 30, 40K um, out, of, out of the GoFundMe. She finessed not only men, she finessed black women. And she finessed people in general to believe that this, this situation was real when it wasn't. This situation was not real. And all the black women are quiet about this situation. How about y'all black women hold that woman accountable? Y'all won't do it. But y'all quick to y'all quick to hide behind anti-Kevin Samuels groups and, and hide behind social media talking shit about Kevin Samuels, talking shit about black men all day. But when it comes to your own kind, you won't hold them accountable. These are the same black women who call men broke, dusty, ugly caca like myself women call me all types of shit you think that shit really bothers me hell no it doesn't because i cut my own ass when it comes to being cockeyed and, and and fucking fat and um whatever the fuck they say about me i don't pay attention to it because negative energy but these are the same black women that want you to come protect them ladies we are not come, gonna come protect you how about you hold hold this woman accountable for lying about about getting hit with a brick only to find out the story was actually bullshit. She didn't get hit with a brick and it was only a, 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 an allergic reaction that she had. 
that blew her face up on the, the blew a knot up on the side of her face. It wasn't a fucking break. So we all believed the story at first, and we made and we we laughed about it. Guess what? Black women laughed when Kevin Samuels died. So we shouldn't laugh about a woman getting hit with a brick or getting choked slammed from hell like this clip. No. Guess what? At the end of the day, this story was bullshit. We all know the story was bullshit. We was dumb enough to believe it at first until the story started to add up and say, nah, this story can't be legit. But fact of the matter is this story was bullshit. And black men, protect yourselves. Because at the end of the day, black women don't love you most. I want to make that clear. Most black women don't love you. They don't care about you. They don't want to see you succeed. Hell, they don't, they don't even want to see you with another race. Why is that? Why don't they want to see you in another race? Because at the end of the day, there's another race out there that will treat you way better than they will. And they don't like that. They don't like, they don't like seeing black men happy. So they make up bullshit stories like this. This woman has a history of doing this. Going back to 2020, she has a history of lying. And y'all got to sit there and actually believe this shit. So fellas, protect yourselves, specifically black men, protect yourselves Go where you're happy at. Get your passport. Leave these black women alone. And I'm talking about most black women because not all black women are like that. There are beautiful black women who will be on the men's program and who will not be evil to black men. But, it, but guess what? Get your passports. Get the hell out of the country. These black women are fucking evil.